teams at the EBB. Aldershot Town led out by Ollie Harfield. Shots line up as follows. Marcus Dewhurst in goal, a back three, we believe, of Ollie Harfield, Christian Maghoma and Roland Menies. Uh, Ollie Scott and Ashley Akpan, the wing-backs, Hargreaves and Theo Widrington in the centre of midfield. James Henry, four goals already in the initial five games. In the number 10 role, we suspect, behind Kai Corbett and Hadi Gandur. Ashley Akpan will need to be on his uh, metal, as will uh, Ollie Scott on the left-hand side, to be up against those players. We're underway then here at the EBB, making it go straight back to Craig Ross, of course, the uh, former Woking goalkeeper. Hargreaves could have gone early out to Akpan, for some reason elected not to. He's gone back to many ace. Theo would go straight through the middle to James Henry. Henry clips the ball over the top, looking for Gandor. He's into the right-hand edge of the penalty area, tries to square it. Shot for Corbett, comes out to Henry. Oh, he's done it again! We're barely into the sixth game. And Henry takes the ball on the half volley and rifles it into the net. Just three minutes gone at the EBB and James Henry can do no wrong. The shot's number 27 of his fifth goal of the season. Aldershot down one. Maidenhead United nil. Widrington then, Maghoma. He'll switch it across to Menies, who's just come and slotted straight back into this Aldershot town side. It's now his third term at the club. I think there was always a feeling that one of many ace or Monoga might still come off as they didn't have other clubs. Monoga this week moved to Salford City. Uh, many ace was already here, back for that third spell. Here he is on the ball, gives it to Henry. One touch, Akpan. Akpan back down the line. Gandor, can he slip it inside to Henry? He's inside the penalty, he squares it again. The shot comes in, really unselfish, played it to Corbett, it's cleared off the line. Scott squares it, Henry's got it again, goes back to Corbett, he shoots, and that is wide, he thinks it's a corner, I tend to agree. And it's Kai Corbett that can't buy a little bit of luck on the edge of the area. Henry surely could have shot Steve, it would have been a 50-50 decision for him. He unselfishly squared it to Corbett. Corbett did nothing wrong other than hit the player on the line. Yeah, early goal for the shots. It came in just the third minute, Tim. And it probably won't surprise me, surprise you, the name of the goal scorer. With his fifth goal in six games, James Henry. An attack was building nicely from the shots and it broke to him just inside the area. He quickly took a picture of what the situation was and went with the half volley lob. Here's a ball across the area and bundled in by Tristan Abrahams. You get a live goal here at the EBB. But it's not for the shots, it's Maidenhead who've levelled in just the 11th minute. Tristan Abrahams with his second goal of the season. Aldershot Town 1, Maidenhead United 1. Well, in the end, a routine squared ball and bundled in by Tristan Abrahams. Uh, a good ball inside. Uh, Maidenhead have got it here, they could get in on the right side. Smith, quite a heavy touch, half cleared. Well done, Dewhurst. Smith ghosted onto it. And uh, Mag Home is caught from behind by Tristan Abrahams. But, yeah, Smith, to be honest, drifted into a great position, then had a bit of a heavy touch. And Dewhurst read that quickly and got out and did well. Must and have, must Abrahams have was coming back from an offside. Abrahams knew it. Oh, right. But then Mag Homer took possession of the ball and Abrahams engaged in the game. So He's Corbett with a sharp turn and he looks for... Henry can't find it, but he gets on to the second ball. Ollie Scott's got it. Is he going to try a shot? He's onto his right foot. Oh! Ollie Scott, welcome to the goal scoring club. Into the area on his left foot, shifted it on his right, tried the curler. Was there enough curl on it? You bet, just inside the post. Beat the outstretched clutches of Craig Ross. And the shots have got the lead again in the 57th minute. And Ollie Scott recovered from the head injury, stayed on the pitch, and he's put the shots ahead. Yeah, fantastic for Ollie Scott there. Sold the whole defence with that dummy and the goalkeeper. Fake to shoot with his left foot, which everyone would expect. But then he just drifted inside, and the whole maidenhead defence was still on that foot, leaning towards the near post.
And then all he had to do, he barely had to curl it, he just placed it into the corner. And it's come from an unlikely source, Ollie Scott, who's playing wide left. We thought his game was done five minutes ago. Uh, a hefty collision, potential head injury, but he shook it off and said, no, I'm OK to continue. Stayed on the pitch, drifted into the penalty area, sold the Maidenhead United defence a dummy and then curled it in with his right foot. Here's Maidenhead, though, on the attack. They're not going to equalise when you're on again. Yes, they are. And it's the same man, Tristan Abrahams, who's slotted low underneath Marcus Dewhurst to level the scores just a minute or so after Aldershot had taken the lead. And it's too all, Tim, and I might just have to ban you coming over <laughs> just after the shots have scored. Ollie, maybe he seemed to be trying to contain Abrahams, but then he stood off and there was no tackle coming. And you think, well, if Abrahams transfers the ball to his left foot, he's going to have a shot on goal. And that's exactly what he did. Scott heads it back down to Harfield and shot's going to continue with their attack. Maiden they think the ball was out of play, nothing given. Um, we're getting our full quota of entertainment again. 61 minutes gone. Akpan to Henry. Henry squares it, touch towards goal, followed up. And Kai Corbett scores for shots on the follow-up. Finally, something's gone his way. I'm not sure who had the initial shot, but it pinged back off Ross into the path of the former posh youngster. And Kai Corbett opens his account for the shots. Five goals have been scored again here at the EBB. 62 minutes gone. Aldershot Town, three. Maidenhead United, two. Oh, here's Theo Winston losing the ball, winning it again. Clipping the ball over the top, looking for Barham, who heads it down into Henry's possession. He's pushed off it, but he's back onto it. Falls to Gandor! And he scores left-footed at the East Bank end. A first East Bank end goal for Hadi Gandor. Tidy left foot finish from inside the penalty area. Created by James Henry. And all the shot town do go 4-2 up against Maidenhead. Dewhurst clears his lines and the goal's unguarded. And Maidenhead can't get a shot away quick enough. Maidenhead. Uh, his half field is dispossessed. Smith. Oh, Maghoma dives in and he needed to make contact with the ball there. And it is what a free kick. He did, the referee didn't like the way he went in with his studs up. Don't think he's going to show yellow. But Maidenhead have got a free kick on the edge of the area, on the right-hand edge of the area. Yeah, the ball's been placed less than a, a roll of the ball outside of the penalty area. I think Abrahams is just going to smash it low and hope for a little deflection or maybe oh, yeah. to find I a mean, gap. That's, that's what I'd do. Um, shoots, and it's turned in, but it might be off. It's not given offside. Locko's turned it in. And surely he was in an offside position, but no, Aldershot Town defenders are appealing. The ball's gone in the net, and Aldershot Town are going to have to deal with it the hard way. Throw in to be taken by Harfield now, up the line. A further one and a half minutes has been added. The ball's headed on again. The referee blows his whistle and confirms victory for the shot. Seven points out of nine at home, ten for the season. 18 goals scored in three games, for and against the shots. Most importantly, the three points are staying in North East Hampshire.